As I walked down the hallway of Hilltop High School, I noticed some rich kid pointing me out of the crowd because of how shitty my look, clothes looked. A faded Van Halen shirt, faded jeans that were too baggy, and some ripped white Nikes. I quickly noticed him pointing to my direction, but I'm trying to just ignore him and walk away. Hey, dude, there's some decent clothes at the lost and found. Maybe then you look less like a garbage can. He said laughing along with what appeared to be his girlfriend. I then approached him. The fuck did you say? I said, turned to him with my face red, full of anger, and with my fist ready to go, in case this brat kept talking. You better take that shit back before I fuck you up, and then you'll be wishing I was a real trash can. <laughs> but he just wouldn't listen, and kept talking smack. So I decided to settle it the only way I knew, the way we used to settle things in my old neighborhood in Tijuana. I gave him a sweet, good old-fashioned ass kicking. It was like David and Goliath, but this time Goliath was not having it and David was not making the upset like in March Madness. <laughs> As I start punching him in the face repeatedly and having him pinned on the ground, I hear a scream from someone else, Proctor! I then stop myself from actually having a good time. I let him go and make a run for it, hoping that nobody recognized my face. But now that I think about it, <laughs> I had no friends in that shitty school. Also, I talked to myself, hopefully this bitch don't snitch on me. But then hope started to rise. I realized that luckily for me, it was my last day in that school, and they were going to their two week break, hoping that I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Boy, I couldn't, I couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> that fight followed my ass all the way to a town in Los Angeles. The name of the town was Baldwin Park. The only, reason why, the only reason I ever heard of that town was because my grandmother lived there. So in the following days of moving in, I would start school in Baldwin Park High School. The school looked fine at the front gate, but once I started to wander around the school, it was surrounded by barbed wire fences. It honestly looked like a jail to me. On my first day of school, I waited at the office. I noticed that the council looked at a paper and in my direction at the same time. The secretary then greets me. It lets me walk into the office to go see my counselor. He explained to me my new schedule. I walk out the door and enter the hallway to start to, start to head to class. When suddenly a security guard from the school approaches me and grabs my arm firmly. He was short in stature, brown skin color, with only the front of his hair spiked up and wearing sunglasses. I turn around in complete shock. Hey, the hell you think you're doing? As I get rid of his arm and push his ass away from me. You come with to the office. I asked him why. He just ignored me and kept telling me to get a move on. It was some bullshit. I thought to myself, not even half a day in school and I haven't already been sent to the assistant principal's office. I guess it was too much to hope for just one peaceful first day of school. Instead, I have this household taking me to the office. We arrive to the office. I take a seat since I have no choice at this point. While waiting in my seat, nodding to myself and having my hands in my, po in my pockets so I wouldn't pl flip off the security guard every time that fucker came to the office, <laughs> bringing more students in. Then the moment of truth arrives. The assistant principal comes out and welcomes me in. At first, I wanted to start arguing with him and tell him that this is all bullshit. But once I saw that dude face to face, all of those thoughts went out the window. He was about six feet and four inches tall was bald, looked like he weighed around 280 pounds, and to top it off, his voice was like Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> he was one of those people that looked so intimidating that if he told me to jump, I would have asked, how high, sir? <laughs> he then tells me to take a seat. He introduces himself and asks me what I was here for. He did ask me some very interesting questions on whether I was ditching class or caught with drugs. The fuck is this dude's problem? I thought to myself. I then ask him with hesitation, why do you mean drugs and ditching class? I'm new here. I was just heading to class, but then that security guard just dragged me here. I then show him my, new, my schedule that at this point was a crumbled paper. He tells me that I am free to go, free to go. As I get up and start to head out the door, he stops me, says to me, you know, we know about your incident at your old school, and calmly continued. So from now on, you better try not to pull any stunts like that. We don't need more punks like you starting any more fights than the ones we have already. Once I heard those words, I froze, then quietly left. 
anger by the labor he gave me. Punk, huh? How in the world did they find out about that? Until this day, I have no clue how they found out about my fight. I told him that it wasn't going to happen. Lots of, lots of thoughts came to my mind. A lot of them I wanted to say to his face. I started to feel my face to get hot because of what he just said to me. I walk out and just kept walking in silence, head straight to class. I kind of figured my new teachers had just been informed by this asshole to keep an eye on me in case I got out of control. I tried to stay out of trouble during the rest of my years attending that school. I had some arguments with teachers. This time in my junior year, I got into it with my geometry teacher because he wanted to give me detention for asking my classmates for a pencil. Yeah, I'm not lying, he was gonna give me detention <laughs> for a pencil. <laughs> to be honest, he's one of the reasons to kick me out of class since he kept saying I was a troubling kid who was just disturbing the class. <laughs> <laughs> The end of my senior year was coming to a near end. I kept my summer under control after the pencil incident. On my way out of school, I decided to walk home with my friend. She then told me later that she couldn't because she was getting a ride home. So while coming back to the front gate, I happened to run into the good old assistant principal. I tried to avoid him, but it was no use. He had already spotted me like a hunter hunting down his prey. At this point, I was just hoping that he had confused me with another student, but no, he hadn't. I was not as afraid of him as I was before, but I knew I had to keep my cool if I wanted to graduate. I, uh, he walked up to me and asked what I was still doing here. I simply just answered that I was going home. He then rephrased the question into why was I still attending Baldwin Park High School. He also mentioned that he didn't think I was gonna make it this far. I then took my leave. Graduation day comes. Boy, was I happy, as so I now leave this jail called high school. Before the ceremony started, some of the teachers told us that there were some changes, changes in the people who were handing out our diplomas. It didn't bother anyone at all, because at this point, even the janitor could have given us the diploma, and we all would have taken it with such pride. The ceremony starts as we start walking out to the stadium, and I don't even notice the new staff members giving out our diplomas. It's my rose turn to start lining up next to the stage. I still don't notice because I'm too busy wondering how I graduated. <laughs> As my turn comes up, I look up and see my good old friend with a surprised look on his face. My good old friend, the assistant principal. Honestly, my smile couldn't get any brighter at that moment. I mean, this was too good to be true. <laughs> that man who called me a punk and harassed me because I was a troubling kid to him and now he's giving me my diploma. I walk up to him, towards him, shake his hand, and squeeze hard. <laughs> he then leans over and says, not bad for a punk. Never thought you were going to make it. All I could do was smile and squeeze harder. <laughs> I then get a flashback on when we first met. I remember why he called me a punk. I just simply responded, you don't know anything, man. <laughs>